Hello. Yo, what up, B? Hey, I'm chilling at the house. But you talking about working, ain't you? So check this out. I think we need to do a recap of the Black Media Honors, man. How you feel about that? Yeah. Okay, so we can, like, highlight the winners or something. Come through. Let's do it. Let's shoot it. Okay. Say less. I'll be right there. So we should talk about, <laughs> and we're back, and we're back. So we should talk about um, what we just did together. The thing that brought us together, yes, was when King Speak, when you came. Right. That's when I was like, okay, this guy here, one to watch. Okay, cool. But I think it was the very next thing that we just so happened to both be booked on. Right. That was like, oh, wait a minute. These two, y'all come on and do something. Yeah, I don't know what the chances were uh, with that. Obviously, it was an alignment, but yes. the chances, uh, because it wasn't even the same people with the bookings for uh, your event and the bookings for uh, uh, Black Media Honors. Right, and two yeah. separate people, yeah, yeah. and yeah. it was just like putting us closer and closer together. So here we are now. We graced the stage, we tore up the red carpet, burned it up, on, okay? Had a good, good time with our people at the 2023 Black Media Honors. My Lord, a two-day event. Two-day event, it started out with the Behind the Press Consortium. And I thought that was extremely important because it was an opportunity to meet people that you, would, you wouldn't bump into these folks. Right, it's the voices that you always hear, but you don't know their faces, right? Yeah, you don't know their faces, uh, but it was a wealth of knowledge. And it wasn't overwhelming. It wasn't really overwhelming, but it was a lot of information. And it was an opportunity to meet these people, get a better understanding of what goes on behind the press, who is really who, and actually, the, it also showed representation yes. in, in that industry. Oh my goodness, I said, this Black Media Honors is giving me um, the masters of media yeah. who are melanated. Yeah. Okay, let's keep with the M's. Yeah. 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 Um, I just was so excited to see people at different levels in their career. Right. Those who are veterans were there. Mm -hmm. Those who are just getting started. Those who are coasting right now. Right. It was just a really good, um, a really good time. I was able to sit on one of the panels, yeah. um, and I. I sit there as like, gosh, I am in the media. Like really what I do as an actress um, gives color to how people see the world. It does. And that is like something really important and really like special to think about. Like the things I say yes to, you know, shape how people see us in Absolutely. the world, right? Absolutely. So um, that was a really cool panel to be on. There were several. There were several. Uh, I think one that stuck out uh, was uh, the tech. Talk about technology. Uh, something you can't avoid, something you can't pretend like is not happening, mm -hmm. right? So um, for me, I felt like that was an eye opener to have somebody on your team, you know, that's in tech that'll help, uh, you know, innovate what the mission is. Um, but you gotta show love to the HBCU family. Come on! HBCU. I I'm wish! HBCU. Hey, hey, I'm an HBCU dropout. Does that count? Well, it counts, because at least you got to go. My parents said no. Well, see, I enrolled, but then, you know, I had funds to oh, go. Oh, so see? Just, let me go and get out of there. Got to be. Well, what happened? I wanted to go to Spelman. <laughs> I was trying to get to Atlanta back then. My parents were like, "You're gonna go right down here, down the street." I graduated high school at 17. Okay. And so they were like, "We need to be in I." Keep some eyes on. We keep some eyes on you. And even in my second year, I was like, "Can I go now?" But then I ended up getting a record deal, and y'all know the rest of the story. Okay. But so I it didn't. I kind of dropped out for a second too. I did. Okay. And okay. then after my girl group, I did go back. I walked the stage, I gave my parents the paper, Very nice. and then I continued on to be an actress. Here I am. Very nice. So, That's yeah. a beautiful story. <laughs> That's a beautiful story. <laughs> and now we're here. You know, uh, just to, to cap that part of the HBCU, one thing that they talked about was representation. They were saying that you did not have to be a graduate, you did not have to attend, because H, uh, 
H what? H B C U. Yes. Is historically Reverend, black is, college university. Am I saying it right, B? Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm asking our producer. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you can continue to be a part of the culture because just like people graduate and they're an uh, alum, you can still support. Yes. And they still support you. Absolutely. Well, I most certainly would love. Well, let me just go on and speak that. We speaking things into uh, existence on this show. Uh, I'm going to go on and speak that I would like to obtain a honorary doctorate from an HBCU. Wow. I'm yeah, just going to say it. I'm not going to say to which, which one. Y'all pick me. I'm here for it. So exactly. however I need to continue to give to my community, however I need to show up for that school, best belief, whoever picks me gonna get the best of Bradley. It's out there now. And how about this? Yeah. I say you get one too. Well, go on, give me one then. I yeah. hear you know, uh, I, I am an Air Force veteran. You Come know, on. I've my country. Uh, thank I you, do thank work you. with veterans. Yeah, absolutely. I work with veterans and their family members to kind of help them adjust and, and uh, transition into civilian life, which is really important because you know, when they get out of the Air Force of active duty or whatever uh, the uh, military branches, they don't know what to do next. Mm -hmm. You know, so that transition as far as maybe the workforce or uh, entrepreneurship and things like that, there has to be some type of liaison. And so that's what we've created uh, with uh, Cuban Veterans Fit. So we'll talk about that. So yeah, I mean, we got so, we're, it's a wealth right here. Y'all gonna get a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, let's right. get back to BMH, Black Media Honors 2023. Bam. Uh, so Saturday was beautiful. They had the chefs there. It yes. was of uh, the urban chefs of, urban Atlanta, chef of Atlanta and Bebe. Did we eat good? We ate splendid. It splendid. It was quite. Did, did you have the wings? To, I, did you have the the, the beef, I only see the brisket. But the brisket was good. Bebe. And the wings. The was great. but the greens though. Everybody, who made the greens? Who made the mac and cheese? Who who wants it back there in the back? But whoever did it, the cornbread baby, like. I will be getting with those urban chips <laughs> on my own another time. Maybe, maybe you get them here, sponsor. I, I like that. I like the idea. I it's like, out there. I like where you're going with that. Uh, let's get into these winners. Though. All right, let's we, do it. Okay. All let's right. get into who won. Don't you want to see yeah, these? Yeah, yeah. These uh, are the voices you hear on all your favorite radio stations, and you've never seen what they look like. But, honey, um, and can we just give it up to all the nominees? All the nominees, congratulations. Yes. Uh, your, your hard work, labor, impact does not go unappreciated. Absolutely. So thank you so much. And everybody is winning. Every, when one of us win, we all win, because guess what? We rooting for everybody black. Oh, that's it. I said it. You said it. <laughs> I said it, I said it. And I meant it. So that, um, so everybody did win, but we do have some winners this year. And we want to honor them with you putting a face to a voice. Indeed. All right, so let me start this thing off here. Now, content creator of the year. Now, I actually know this guy. You do? Yeah, I know this guy. Okay. Uh, congratulations, uh, David Chan, Social Proof Podcast. Yay! Very, very powerful podcast. I think if, if you've been on social media, you, you've seen this guy. If so, uh, and if you have not, go follow him now. Go follow Social Proof. And he also has one called Sleep is for Suckers. Sleep is for supper. Isn't he a part of that? He's a part yeah, of that's that him. group too. That's him too. Like, amazing. I was just stuck on his podcast the other day where I met Markel. Oh, I can't even remember. Russell. The, Russell, look at that. Come on. Like, I, when I tell you these guys are a wealth of knowledge, and what I love the most about David is that he is so humble. Yeah. And like, he is so honest on his podcast. He's like, I didn't know that. You think I should do that? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try that. <laughs> like, he was all excited about his first, like, $100,000 month or something. Right. Anyway. Congratulations, and everybody go follow, and congratulations to you, content creator of the year. We're coming for you next year. We're coming for you. Indeed. <laughs> All right, so next up is our public relations icon. Yeah. Congratulations goes to Drina Whitfield. Hey, yes. girl. Yes, indeed. PR is so important, right? Yes. PR are the folks that, that, that get you out there, but they're also the folks that send you a text or we'll give you a call and be like, hey, uh -huh, don't do that. I've gotten those texts before. <laughs> is this what we posted? <laughs> yes, it is. Um, PR is so important because they not only put us on the red carpets, get us in the rooms where we need to be in, mm -hmm. but they also do like kind of crisis management. Work. That's it. Damage control as well. Damage control, baby. So uh, when we need to be reeled in or something happens and they got to step out front, say that statement on our behalf. Right. 
thank you for doing what you do. And um, congratulations again, Public Relations Icon 2023, BMH. Congratulations. We're going to keep moving. Podcast of the year. Yes. Now, again, we'll be in the nominees next year. I go, honey, okay. baby. All right. Wait, how the host is also a nominee like this? Come on, come on. Like this. these. Now, uh, therapy for black girls. Now, I thought that that was so important, not only because of what they're doing, but because of the message and and what's necessary. It is so true. I just told you guys a little earlier in the show that I don't know where I would be, definitely not sitting here with you, Rob, in my right mind if it wasn't for all of the therapists with an S um, that I was able to um, talk to, glean from, empty yeah. to, and get filled back up. And, you know, I can sit here now in my right mind knowing I've been through a thing, but it didn't take me out. That is powerful because as men, as as leaders in our household, there's certain things that we have to understand that we need help, right? And sometimes we don't have all of the words and we don't have all of the messages and we don't have all of the, uh, just the, the, the principles of, of what our sisters, meaning our ladies, our, our mothers, our, our daughters need. So we have to take our ego out of the scenario and be like, look, if if she needs help, we need help as well. Like we're not putting our, our, our black girls, our black women out on the island. We need it as well. So I think it was great just being a, an amazing example. Yes. I thought that was amazing. I love the name Therapy for Black Girls. Love y'all. Sweet. Congrats. All right, next up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like I said, it was I said it's my boy. Oh, it's my boy right okay, here. Okay, okay. We were able to sit in on his radio show to promote the Black Media Honors. This was Media Trailblazer of the Year, Mr. Nico Flowers. We love you. Yeah, I was really excited for you to get this award. Yeah. Your family. Uh, being there and just your heart for the, for what you do. Yeah, that really makes a difference, right? It yeah. really makes a difference. I it, you know, so I have a nonprofit organization which we'll talk about. It's called From Nine to Five to Wow, and okay. it's all about people quitting their jobs. Mm. I want you to quit your job and do something you love. Mm. How do I get you there? Nico is doing what he loves yes. radio he has a heart for radio a heart for the people he's even Jalen Carr is like one of the shows that Absolutely. he oversees like come on man, man. congratulations when, you deserve it when he when he did his speech the first thing that he did he showed love to was um, not only his family which I think is extremely important but the support to include the people that didn't believe it come on they play a part. That part. So I thought that that was amazing. Nico, congratulations, brother. Thank you for your support. Especially Yay. as we as we promoted the show. Short notice, he got us out there. Got us out there. He was like, come on, whatever needs to be done, he's here to do it. I love it. I did. So congratulations, my brother. We appreciate you. Yay. All right. So uh, next on the list. Um, of winners. That of is. winners. <laughs> okay, come on now. Radio personality of the year. Um, do, do you did Kim. you know who this was? No. You Jewel, who plays Junior? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do. Yes. Okay. I've actually met him before, and he's like the so Kier Junior. I said his last Spates. name Spates. Yeah. So I met him before, and it's such a trip to put someone's face to the voice. Oh, I was like. Oh. So congratulations to you. I'm super sorry you couldn't be there to receive your award, but you deserve it because you have kept us laughing for a so very long fun. time and you really keep things popping over there at the Steve Harvey Let's Morning see, Show. We, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was an extension, I feel like, you know, kind of bringing things into the audience to the Steve Harvey Show and just show some versatility on the show. So that was really good. Yes, I, I love you. his character on the show. He, he is, he's actually a hoot in, in real life too. A hoot? <laughs> yes, a hoot and a, and a hoot. <laughs> Who's next? Okay, so we next have, what's the title of the day? I'm gonna skip this one and go to the next one here. Influencer of the year. This is good. Ryan Cameron. Cameron. Yes. Uh, pretty amazing. Now, Ryan had to dip on it, so let's just be real. Yeah, no, he had something, but he yeah. let us know early. Very professional. Very professional. Said, can you guys move me up on the show? We tried to do what we could do. We couldn't really get it. Right. But those who love him came up to accept the award on his yeah. behalf. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
You know, I've been here in Atlanta for about 20 years, and I remember a couple of people that were influential on the radio. Ryan Cameron was one of those. And so just watching the evolution of this gentleman, just going to different business spaces and, and just represent, it gives a lot of us men, especially black men, um, encouragement mm -hmm. that, that we don't have to be in a box wow. and that we can continue to evolve in our own spaces and industries that we discover. And he exemplifies that. And what I love too is, if I remember correctly, someone got on stage and was like, um, if you need support, he yeah. gonna support you. He's going to be there to get you who you need, what you Thanks. need. So that's really good, really amazing to hear. Congratulations to you, Influencer of the Year. Indeed. Next. Indeed. And so we got two left, right? So we got the Journalist of the Year. Now, I, I don't even know how to pronounce the name, though. I say it's Maesia. It looks like Maesia Simone, right? Yes. Did um, we say it right, girl? We sorry. We, we know you, you went through this in high school, too. <laughs> And I know they were struggling worse than I'm that, so right? I'm so sorry, but that's a beautiful day. Uh, journalist of the year. Now that that is a, uh, I think that's a, a challenging industry because you have to take on a lot of ridicule. Mm -hmm. Why would you write about that? Why would you give that version of that? And so uh, to be able to articulate well, to be able to paint a picture and really allow people to kind of tap into something they've never had access to, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Journalism, you be, you have to read, write, and comprehend real good. <laughs> good for her. So good she for you, right. That was not my lane. <laughs> you and Oprah have it. But honey, it's you, you, you the uh, BMH of 2023. You did that. Okay. So congratulations to you. Indeed. All right. And finishing up. Uh, you know what? Th this gentleman wasn't uh, able to, he had other obligations, but this young man, is extremely talented. Um, Radio One knows that they have a gem um, with their organization. Millennial Spotlight, Gil Jones. Um, the young lady that accepted his award talked so much about this man's heart. Wow. Didn't even go necessarily go into, you know, all the things that he did, but just more so who he was to the core. Mm -hmm. And, and that alone speaks volumes. It really you know? does. So that means anything else you do, you shed your light on that. People appreciate that. So, Gil Jones, my brother. Congratulations. My young Gary. brother. My young brother. And I want to say that Gary with the T won something too. He did. Now, Gary with the T is. I can't recall. Gary, you know who Gary is? I do. I, I do. Say, I, wait a minute. Listen, I, so last, last year, there was a panel um, that I hosted, and, and Gary was on that. And, one thing I can say about Gary with the T is he's gonna, he's gonna give it to you. He is authentically himself at all times. At so all times. Congratulations to you yeah, for being a winner uh, in the 2023 Black Media Honors Gala. This, I mean, this is fan freaking tastic. We had some amazing singers and performers. Man, can we talk about them too? Yeah, we have to. Please? We have to. Now, um, a gentleman, I believe he comes out of Texas, uh, Davis. Oh, voice Dick can sing down. Voice, we'll sing you down. Voice is out of this world. Indeed, he did. Mother, mother. He did. He did hey, I can't sing too much because <laughs> I got to pay. Right, so. <laughs> right. You know, I'm just going to go mute real quick. Right, 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 right. Y'all know the song. But, uh, oh, he was so good. He even wore the little scully. He had the beanie. The little red beanie yeah. scully thing with uh, the. Oh, my. It was he did. He did that. And then we had the young Adriana. lady. Adriana. Adriana. Now, now Adri the Adriana. Is one of those ladies where you you got to look around because you you would think that, that voice is coming out, out of that eye. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. I completely agree. Absolutely, yeah. she was phenomenal. I mean, <laughs> top notch. Uh, what was the last group? Uh, my three Valentines. So I didn't have a Valentine's this year, 2023, February, whatever. And I was at an event, and someone asked me like from the stage or something, Braley, do you have a Valentine? I was like, no, I don't. Those three gentlemen came over to me in that event wow. and said, we'd like to invite you out for Valentine's. Mm. I said, I have three dates. All I had zero to three, I went from zero to three. They had Very a quick. show and I was their special guest. So oh. I got to wear my little red dress and oh. sit and they're, oh. all their fans were yelling and screaming. And mm. I had my little, <laughs> <laughs> 
So yes, so um, final draft, you guys have my heart. Boom, boom, boom. I will forever be a fan. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making my 23 Valentine's Day like memorable. If they were here, they would say, and we are final, final draft. draft. <laughs> <laughs> One more time, and we are final, final draft. draft. <laughs> they are, I mean, honey, That's the inside. When they, yes, That's the inside. inside when when these see. guys sing, if you ever need Somebody, oh, and for, I met them at a wedding, believe it or not. Oh, wow. a, a couple of years ago, or it might have been last year, it might be two years ago, um, my girlfriend's wedding. We're sitting there in the audience. Tonita, shout out, love you, girl. Um, and then we hear these voices, and we look back. I went, they sang from the back of the, instead of how at a normal wedding, the singers sing up front, they came from the back and everybody was looking around because we thought that it was a record. It right. was them singing. They sound like a record is like playing the Chris. needle is on their voice. Baby, they can sing, sing, sing. And I mean all three. It's not like, you know, they be having them. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. One or two can sing Over and the other one just look one cute. They all fine and they all can sing. Trust me, if you need them, please. Find all these, these people. Uh, and congratulations to them. I, I had a chance to talk to them for a few minutes. They just got uh, a new deal and they're on tour. What? So they should be on tour like right, right now. Oh my goodness. Go follow them, find them, find all of these wonderful singers. They were absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, I think we've done what we can do. Yeah. How are we doing on time? We good? What we looking like, B? Yeah. So, uh, all right. Okay. Sh shout out uh, to the entire team. Uh, definitely show love to uh, the CEO. Oh, yes, and our founder, our founder of the Black Media Honor, Stephanie. Stephanie Davis, indeed. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having me again. Yeah. Thank you for bringing me closer to this one. Mm -hmm. uh, now I can't get rid of them. <laughs> We're R&B. on you. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Come on, say too much. Right. We're going to have to be like, excuse me, we're going to need a couple dollars. Okay, right. No, but... Um, that, that's where we are. So That's where we are. So make sure that you guys stay tuned. Uh, let them know how to follow you. Oh, if you want to follow me, I'm Braley Evans on all social media platforms. It is simply my name, B-R-E-L-Y-E-V-A-N-S. It's somewhere around here. Yeah, it's somewhere around here. <laughs> and then how will they follow you? And you can definitely catch me in your favorite Silver Fox, Rob Malloy. And I'm Jack. Uh, yeah, I am Rob Malloy on all social media platforms. Definitely check it out. Uh, we have so many amazing things coming. There's some stuff we can talk about, some stuff you just got to follow and check it out. We'll see y'all. Thank you so much for being here, for watching our first episode. There's so much more to come and come have fun with us. We're going to be doing a lot of things. We've got a lot of stuff going on. You don't want to miss it. And get into some of this R&B, relationship stuff and business stuff. Come get it with us. You gotta love it. We'll see you next week. All right, so um, we cannot end this show without saying thank you to our sponsors. Yes, indeed. Zanies, Zanies Alkaline Magnesium Water. You want this in your life. It is the water that's going to help you have melanin. It's actually better for you. It is. And, than anybody. And you got to look at it. it. It's made with quality, even the bottle. I mean. But, you know, one didn't... thing that they talk about when people have certain mineral waters, sparkling waters, alcohol waters, you turn around and still put them in a plastic container. Isn't that something? Isn't that? But you know what? He, they didn't want the um, the the ingredient. I want to say ingredients because yeah, it's the magnesium actually comes from the actual spring. So they don't put anything in this water, okay. but it's not compromised by the plastic exactly. when the sun hits it and, you know, begins to get the plastic into the water. This exactly. glass keeps the minerals in the water. So I'm super excited. And what I love is it's my homeboys from Oakland, California. Oakland. They actually have a plant, a oh. plant. And um, they bottled this up and they're supporting us and we are supporting them. Cheers. Cheers. This is all we drink. We, we bottle pop it. We, bo we <laughs> bottle pop it. We bottle pop it. All right. Thank you, Zanies. We need a, like a handshake. We need a. Right, I, what? Yeah. I'm trying to figure well, out. Yeah, a, a fan, yeah. we need a, yeah. I don't know. Yeah.
What, what's that? What's going that's, on that? Isn't, that's R. Oh, that's R. R. And this is B. This is B. So what was that? So wait. What's that? Boom. 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 Yeah. That's an R right here? This is R. Crisscross. And then what? And then once you come back out. And come back out to B. Oh. You smacking the B. Yeah. You smacking the B. We're going to have a handshake. Yeah, yeah. Y'all stay with us. All right. I think we're good to cut. Hey, y'all. Follow us on IG, R&B with R&B. That's Robin Braley with a relationship and business podcast. And don't forget to click subscribe. See you right here for next episodes.